It has been quite an eventful half hour. The frigid front is moving in as we speak. Our downtown camera caught some of this happening just a few minutes ago. It looks ominous out there. Dark skies and we know it's coming. It's going to be cold. Yeah, and the thermometers are telling a story too. Take a look at our camera over Horsetooth Reservoir. This too in the last half hour and what once were blue skies certainly have changed to those clouds and a lot of dust being kicked up by the heavy winds as well. Our temperature is dropping quickly and significantly. We set a gauge out in the backyard, did a little time lapse of that drop in the last half hour. When that front moved through Cheyenne this afternoon, the temperature went from 43 degrees to 7 degrees within 30 minutes. That was a 36 degree drop and you've seen here over the last hour or so we've been watching the gauge go from what was it 40 mid 40s down to the low 20s it was cut in half in just the course of a few minutes so let's talk about what is coming our way what's happening right now and how long it might be till it warms up again with kathy please remember i'm only the messenger <laughs> and i also want to say congratulations you made it into winter the winter solstice today at 2 47 p.m in fall we were 50 degrees earlier today and now we've dropped to seven degrees the arctic front is moving in and soon the snow will follow it's been snowing in the high country all day long, but so far dry for the evening drive. Tomorrow morning's drive will be slick and icy and bitter cold. Areas of blowing snow will snarl traffic on I-70 tonight. A winter storm warning out for the high country for wind and up to a foot of snow. These are your current readings. Yes, I see you, Erie, Lafayette, Broomfield. You're emailing, you're calling. The temperature dropped 30 degrees in 10 minutes. I know. Denver's now down to 5, minus 2 in Greeley. These are Fahrenheit temperatures. Minus 8 in Sydney, minus 2 in Sterling. The coldest air is still north of us, and I know a lot of you are wondering, why are you making such a big deal out of it? We, we see numbers below zero in the winter in Colorado. Not like this and not very often. It has been years, maybe even a decade or more, that we've seen extreme cold like this with the wind chill potential to be life-threatening at 55, minus 55 for the wind chill values on the eastern plains. So we were in the 50s today. As we get into the overnight hours, we'll drop below zero. We're going into the double digits below zero. That's where you'll find the numbers tomorrow morning. If you choose to step outside, which you probably should not, we are not going to get above zero for a high temperature tomorrow. So please keep your pets indoors. If you're cold, they're cold. Livestock managers, adequate shelter and water for those animals on the plains. Wind chill warning out through Friday morning. This could be record cold because of the duration, because of the rapid drop in the temperature and the wind chill values, which could create frostbite on human beings exposed skin in less than five minutes time. Here's the snow, Brighton, Broomfield, Boulder, west of Arvada. It's coming to Denver in the next hour or two. We're under a winter weather advisory for two to four inches of snow. The timing is kind of laid out for you here and coming up in Maine weather. We're going to break it all down for you. How low will the numbers go? How how long will it last and how much snow will we see to impact travel tomorrow? That's coming up. Okay, Kathy, let's check in now with Corey Reppenhagen. Last we saw you, you were in Thornton. Are you still in Thornton and how does it feel now about an hour later, Corey? Yeah, it's amazing, Jenny. I'm still in Thornton, uh, kind of in the same spot I was when the cold front first came through. And I can tell you that I've been doing this job for 27 years pretty much just standing in front of the weather waiting for cold fronts to go by. And that was the most dramatic cold front passage I've ever experienced. We were at 45 degrees at four o'clock and by 415, we were at 15 degrees here in Thornton, 30 degrees in about nine minutes. Never experienced anything like that. And I will be willing to bet that there were many people out in the Denver metro area, along the Front Range, the Eastern Plains, that experienced the same thing and they were probably caught off guard just by the power uh, and how fast the temperature did drop. Wind kicked up dust. Oh, I think we lost Corey. Hopefully we can check in with him again later. Point is, it's very cold out there. Again, do not be outside if you can avoid it this week. Frostbite can happen very quickly, can turn very serious before you realize. It might just feel like your fingers and your toes are going numb, but there's actually a bit more happening inside your body. Frostbite is where you have actual ice crystals that form inside of the tissues, both in the blood vessels and the cells, because the extremity, the finger, the toe is exposed to too much cold. 
While we are familiar with the red pale skin and the numbness, you can also get muscle stiffness. Mild frostbite can be treated at home with warm water, but if it's severe, the skin will start to blister. Its color can turn dark brown or black, and at that point you really need to see a doctor and you need to see a doctor quickly. There are some people who will not have their own home to rely on tonight for shelter. City of Denver has got some plans to help anybody stuck in the freezing cold, and Courtney Yoon is along now to kind of walk us through what the city's planning. What's, what are the plans for them? Yeah, Jenny, people looking for a warm place to stay tonight are being welcomed here at the Denver Coliseum to come inside. Every winter, there are people experiencing homelessness who die during the winter times from exposure. And today, Denver and City Council uh, or Denver and City and County officials are saying they want to make sure anyone needing a place to stay tonight has somewhere to go. Uh, it's tough. It's cold. Avion Patterson knew his typical way of staying warm while sleeping outdoors wasn't going to be enough for tonight's dangerously cold temperatures. I've been in situations where I almost froze to death in the cold. I try to just put on as much clothes as I can. I probably put on like three pair of pants, uh, three shirts and a jacket. Coat. Today he's waiting for a bed inside the Denver Coliseum, along with other people currently experiencing homelessness. This facility will be available to anyone who needs it, including our neighbors experiencing homelessness, the migrants who have recently arrived in our city, and anyone from the general public who needs a safe place to be warm. Inside the Coliseum, there's space for 250 people, and Denver officials say if they run out of beds, they're working with community partners to accommodate overflow. The Department of Housing Stability's outreach team and our partners have three dozen staff members working extended hours till, till 9 p.m. daily, putting all their efforts to getting people inside safe from this incoming storm so we can save lives. The National Guard and Red Cross will be assisting people at the Coliseum, handing out hygiene kits and food. The Coliseum is only a temporary shelter and will stay open until at least Saturday morning. We have a strong sheltering system here in Denver and we always stand ready to meet the needs of our community of unhoused residents. And we've just definitely been experiencing that rapid drop in temperatures just an hour ago. It was so much warmer out here and it seemed so quickly that the winds picked up and then the cold front really came in here. It is cold. And if you are looking for a place to stay, there are shuttles running here to the Coliseum Warming Center from the St. Francis Center and the Lawrence Street Community Center for people trying to get a bed here at the Coliseum. Denver rec centers and libraries are also going to be open during normal operating hours for people who need a warm place to stay during the day. All right, Courtney, you look cold too, so why don't we bring you in? Thank you for your reporting.